Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest Dawn of the Wolves, our special summer event with the new branch of the Moon Pack. And we are here with Moose who is currently listening. Can he smell anything this time? Yes, his sense of smell has come back. So he had a spring cold last time, spring allergies I should say, where he couldn't figure out the scent of anything nearby. But it looks like our scent view is back. I have noticed that this just sometimes happens in Lost River. What the heck? Is that a moose? Is there just a moose in front of us? Moose, there's a moose. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to uh, Dawn of the Wolves. Like I said, summer event. We're here with Moose doing his side quest, which most of you guys are very, very excited about to be able to have a side story with some of the descendants from our current pack. Don't worry, we will be returning to Dawn and Onyx for another of their litters fairly soon. But we are here with their son, Moose, right now as he experiences life as a dispersal wolf here in Lost River. And his job is actually to go around and try to claim one, at least one, of the special moose related achievements. And I showed you guys a whole bunch of them. I always forget where to find my achievements for just a second, but I showed you guys where to find those achievements such as dinner moosek, kill a cow moose, or once in the blue moose, kill a bull moose that we are shooting for. I don't think he's going to be able to achieve like the making moosek where uh, he ends up like taking out 10 cow moose. That would be kind of amazing. Uh, or any of the other, I don't want him, I don't want him to lose, to get like, I am not a moose and lose his life to a moose. So that's the one moose related achievement we're really hoping he doesn't unlock. If he happens to unlock it, I mean, it happens and his sister Quartz is at least still alive, but, uh, and then she could possibly carry on the pack if need be. But I don't want to lose moose because we also, what was this moose doing? Like, was it just like rolling around in the ground here? What was all that dust about? But we don't want to lose Moose because he now also has the artifact, the 100th rabbit's foot, the 100th lucky rabbit's foot. And as long as he has it, he'll be able to reduce the difficulty set during the daytime. Base and right now he's at level four difficulty. That's what he rolled. He rolled dusk and level four difficulty. And I don't know if we want to try to take a Moose on during a bring it on day, but I may try to at least bite its butt once or twice to give a moose a taste of moose. Um, my goodness. But I really love that you guys like the artifact idea. And we'll talk more about that after I give this moose, this cow moose is, oh, okay. Now she's a little bit concerned. All right. How do you do cow moose? You see me, I see you. We're going to have a conversation about this. I say conversation, but really, oh, did she just snort in my ear? <gasps> she just snorted in my ear. Can I get her? Can I get her? Oh, I had the bite mark, but I wasn't able to, wasn't able to risk it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. All right. Go, 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 go. Ah! Okay, no, we can't do this right now. <laughs> Moose just took like almost enough damage to kill him. Okay, we've got to go find some new food. We're going to have to wait. This is Moose's first time actually being able to hunt down Moose. I wonder, can he like whip around? Can I get a better look? Wee! Okay. I wanted to try to get a better look at the Moose. But I don't think, okay, what about over here? What about this? I wonder, nope. Uh, and I think there's actually, I think actually, if we want to get a better look at this moose, there might be a special, where's the interface help? Okay, ah, ah, okay, interface, interface. I think there's something where you can change, okay, the camera orbit. Let's try that. I don't think I've ever tried that before, but can I swing it around? Maybe. Maybe, oh, 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 you guys, literally 300 episodes of Wolf Quest later and I've never managed to get pictures like this before. This just changed everything. I feel ridiculous. I, I could have been doing this the whole time. Okay, so you can change the camera orbit if you so wish by just pressing the nine and zero key on your keyboard should you be using a PC to play like I am. We will now leave this young cow moose because she looks kind of small uh, alone. She's growl gr like grunting. Growling, does growling count if it's a moose? She's grunting in our ear. So we're gonna go ahead and leave her be and we need to look for some food now. Moose is a little bit damaged uh, from that kick. Okay, a lot damaged from that kick. It probably bruised a rib or something. And I don't see any food. So let's go see if we can find 
any carcasses just lying around these creepy abandoned houses. And who knows how many generations it's been since any of our wolf pack has been out here to Lost River. So all of the lore of the pack has been lost. All of those adventures that we did here in Lost River with the Moon Pack has probably been lost to time because no one passed on all of the information, all of the stories, all of the lessons that we learned when we used to have so many generations of our wolves roam along this abandoned city. And it is indeed scarily abandoned. You can come on over and read so many different signs on so many of the houses. No trespassing. Trespassers will be left here to suffer the consequences. Now, isn't that isn't that a little scary? It's almost like if somebody broke into the house, what if they tried to just like lock that, that thief in a closet and leave them here? Who knows? Why would you be worried about being left here? What is there about this abandoned town that chased all the people away and left it for the wild wolves to reclaim over time? I'm pretty sure we'll find out. Right now, let's go ahead and look around and see if we can find something to scavenge. If not, ah, and there's the ferris wheel poking up over the horizon. But we'll see if we can find something for Moose to scavenge since he has been kicked by a moose. And we definitely should wait until he gets a mate and we take out some elk. Wow, look at that. What of you? What of you, Moose? But we should probably wait until he gets a mate before we go ahead and try to attack the bull moose again. But Moose has seen his first official moose now. So that makes today a victory in my opinion. And we didn't die. So yes, he could get the achievement. I am not a moose. Oh, a coyote. Okay, well, what, what good is a coyote going to do? We could try to nibble on it, but I think it's too stringy, see? Nope, not enough meat on that thing to actually be able to eat from it. But Moose actually ha does not have a lot of experience right now. We do not have enough experience to even get a mate at the moment. We only have 48 or 480 experience, and it's kind of surreal after working with his parents and having him at over, I think we got almost over 10,000 experience. And then not having like any hunting experience, it's always so interesting starting with a new young wolf and having to kind of work your way backwards. Don't overpay for self-storage. Interesting. One month free. I don't remember the self-storage. It's been so long since I have been inside of the town. It's like we're discovering it all over again with just this distant, distant branch of the moon pack. But anyway, as I was mentioning with those artifacts, I'm really glad you guys like the idea of the artifacts because I think that could be a really great trade-off to the ancestor blessings. I think having the artifacts would be something that could be lost. So there's a chance if like that, the wolf who was carrying the artifact uh, no longer was part of our pack because they died or they were no longer part of our pack uh, because we ended up not devoting them in to be the heir, then the artifact would be lost and we would have a little bit of balance. You guys could vote on the different heirs to try to stack artifacts if you wanted to be fancy about it. Or if we give an artifact to say our mate, then if our mate ends up dying as sometimes happens and then reviving because you can't actually lose your mate in wolf quest, we could say they lost the artifact if not like died themselves. So I think that'd be interesting. Also, how long have those crows been on top of the statues outside of City Hall here. I don't remember, hang on, hang on. All right, let me see if I can get up here. There we go. I don't remember having crows. What just happened? <gasps> I don't remember sinking into the ground either. Oh dear. Moose, what have you done? Moose, get yourself out. Moose, <laughs> Moose, why? <laughs> you guys, Moose is stuck inside of He's stuck inside of City Hall. <laughs> One second I was just walking around minding my own business trying to look at- That was a cursed crow. Moose has gotten himself stuck by a cursed crow. Oh dear. Uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty then. Well, let's not worry about that. Poor Moose. Poor Moose got himself stuck inside of a uh, city hall. We'll run him back into town now and continue to look for something for him to scavenge. What does this sign say? First the river, now us. Oh, so creepy. I love it. All right, come on, Moose. We're going to take you into town. We're going to avoid steps. Apparently, he does not have a lot of balance. Maybe he has some of his father's hunting uh, issues. 
and we're going to look for something to eat. So I'm looking either for something to scavenge or for a elk to hunt. And he is on level four difficulty for today. That's what the random generator picked, dusk and level four difficulty. And we'll have to see if we're able to find like a lucky rabbit's foot, a carcass would be very convenient, or the city elk who tend to be very, very clever. Also, it's giving me so many zombie vibes. Oh, I don't remember some of these things. I swear there's some new little details, like the crushed up front to this fire truck or whatever it is. Is it a fire truck? No, it's a tanker. Hmm. I don't remember some of those details. And I'm very excited because there will be a new Wolf Quest episode that they're working on. I don't think it's going to come out until later in the year, if not next year. So it's not like right around the corner. But, whoa! Right around the corner like these cow elk! Holy moly! Alright, well let's go ahead and try to take one out. Run it into the corner. Alright, hey you. You look like you could be some food. Yeah, Moose does really good damage with uh, being able to do some severe bites, but he is not very fast. So we kind of want to build up our stamina and then chase him down. And ooh, there we go. If we can pin them in like that, like up against a wall for a second, probably good to do rapid bites, but otherwise probably good to try to just bite and hang on. Wow, I don't remember this little park over here. I think it's a good thing we came back to Lost River. I feel like a few things have definitely changed. All right, come on, Moose, you can do this. We're gonna have to be able to survive getting kicked a little bit by the, the cow elk too. So hopefully we'll be able to endure that. All right, come on, cow elk. That's right, right into a nice little corner. Don't you dare try to throw me off this. All right, smart cow elk trying to run us by the edge of the bridge so that we could possibly slip down into the channel. All right, and build up our stamina, chase her down again. Almost there, guys. I'm gonna give her butt a good bite and not let go and hopefully Moose will have the food he needs. But I am very excited that you guys were so open to the idea of trying out. Oh, there we go. All right, and come on, Moose, come on, bite her. Moose, don't just let this cow beat you up. All right, good, 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 not good. Oh my gosh, Moose, you need a little bit better hunting skills, buddy. Oh geez, that was like, it was about to be the elk or it was about to be moose. There wasn't a lot of middle ground there. Oh, man. We better hunt down another one of those city elk because there wasn't a carcass to be found anywhere to keep moose going. And pretty much there's only two elk herds that we're going to run into on the entire Wolf Quest map. One being all the way past the hilltop and over into the back 40. Another one being right here in town. So let's go see if we can hunt down another one of the city elk that we ran into. Aha! like this lady right here okay can i just bite her neck and then if we bite her neck and don't let go can she still kick us let's try this she can but it looks like she's less inclined to try to run and when she does run nice moose <laughs> he just kind of uses brute force I've, I've never really tried to bite as much when it comes to the elk. Can we take her out? Nice! Okay, so he's he's kind of almost dying every time we try to take a elk out. Did I say moose? You guys know what I mean. I'm dealing with moose, dealing with elk. The next thing you know, I'm going to be calling them like deer or something like that. There, and it's kind of interesting. It's like fuel up on your elk, huh? <laughs> fuel up here at the fuel station on all the elk you need. Why not? Let's go ahead, try holding. Mo um, <laughs> that was a little interesting. <laughs> hey, back off. This is mine. These these happen to be uh, my elk. I would prefer to continue to hunt said elk. All right. She's trying to stay close to a healthier sister. Looks like they're going to get just a tripped up by the concrete as we did. All right, come here, lady. You're going to give me some valuable experience that may make Moose very attractive to a lady wolf one day. He's very slow, so being able to get a mate is just a practical step in his survival so that hopefully we'll be able to hunt better and one day take out a moose. It may be worth it to chase some of the elk over here because if we can find another moose up at Allison Acres, I think they tend to come at dawn and dusk is the most frequent time that you're going to run into moose. Then having an elk nearby, so if the moose beats us up again, we'll be able to have plenty of meat to be able to heal. Come on, grab her and don't let go. Keep a hold of her until, ah, oh, dang it, she was so close. So close. 
just, okay, he has to get more stamina. Oh, chasing him into the walls does help a lot, but I don't know if Moose has the brain power. He doesn't, he strikes me as just like kind of a straightforward sort of wolf. So really, if he could somehow find a mate who was a little bit more of a strategic planner, they could probably balance each other out with sheer strength and then planning. All right, let's go ahead and take this elk out. I think we're almost to the point. Come on. I think we're almost, almost, almost to the point where we should, come on. There we go. Be able to go and get him a mate soon, but not yet. So don't give your mate suggestions just yet. What I would actually love to hear from you guys instead of mate suggestions right now is your opinions on other interesting artifacts we could collect. They could be things like bull elk antlers that may give us different kinds of boost. They could be things like uh, maybe cougar claws or cougar teeth that we might be able to use as artifacts. I would love to start seeing some interesting ideas. Make sure that you go through and upvote the artifact that you think would be interesting and remember we're trying to use these so they're not quite as overpowered as ancestor blessings but they could give us oh my gosh around and around the, the merry-go-round it's just an elk merry-go-round look at this 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 elk is just really really you're gonna make me dizzy you're gonna make me give up because i am very prone to getting dizzy and this elk was just going around and around and around oh my gosh that was hilarious but I would love to spend a few days collecting some of your guys' ideas on artifacts that we could give ourselves challenges to go for. And what may happen is we could say there's like chances, like a 10% chance when we chase off a cougar that it leaves behind a claw or a tooth. And that's when we could get one of those artifacts and we would have to give it to one of our wolves. And we may have to decide like, Hmm, how would we do it? Like maybe there's a limit to the number of artifacts we'll have, but it could be a fun way Like only one artifact per, per wolf or something like that unless we did something special see and now we're already thinking of even more ways to continually make Okay, I'm watching you elk. I'm watching you to continually make our wolf quest adventures more interesting So right now moose is the only one in the moon pack who has ever had an artifact and the only one Oh, I, I you know, I haven't come over to this side in a long time We might have to do some investigating and the only one who has an artifact his lucky rabbit's foot the 100th lucky rabbit's foot grants him the ability to hunt four rabbits and then lower the difficulty for the day. Pretty useful if we happen to be near rabbits and if it's something where we just find that we never end up getting to use it because rabbits happen to be very rare where he's at. For instance, I've never seen a rabbit show up here in the city in Lost River. Then we might modify that. Maybe it'll be four rabbits and then he can like permanently lower the difficulty by one. That may be too overpowered. We'll have to see. All of your guys' input adds up into creating these amazing stories together. So I think we've taken out enough elk now that even with the ravens chewing on them, I should have a food resource to rely on. And what we really need to do now is see if our random generator is going to gift us with night so that we can see the mysterious moose that rumors have it is hiding over by the radiation plant, like the, the nuclear research facility across the way. So we're going to look for that moose. We have to wait till the random generator makes it night. And we are going to work on building up a lot of experience. And then maybe, hmm, maybe we could come up with a way where the experience that we gain while we're on these side stories can help Moose's parents. Uh, like he could go back and visit with them and give them some knowledge about what's going on in the world. And if you guys have any ideas, make sure you leave them down in the comments below because I know many of you have started to modify how- Where did all the elk go, by the way? Many of you have started to modify how you play your own Wolf Quest games based off of the suggestions in the comments. So remember, you won't just be affecting our adventures. You'll be helping lots of people come up with many different ways to play. And next time, I'll also explain some of the interesting new video previews I've seen for the puppy modification in the next version of the game that's over on the Wolf Quest YouTube page right now. So you might want to go check that out, but we'll talk about it next time. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.